Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm using Safe Moon video to maybe get more views and possibly more people with my channel. But Safe Moon is a very hot subject right now, and it has over 1.3 million uh, holders of Safe Moon. I'm not a holder of Safe Moon, but I am looking into it and I'm thinking about buying it. I haven't pulled the trigger or anything yet. And if I do, I'm going to wait for a super red day to do it. So we'll see what happens. But I'll, you know, they're like, I'm on the Safe Moon Twitter page right now. And they have about 387 followers. Uh, that's a lot of people following the company. And there's a video about how to acquire it. It's kind of misleading because in, in here, they, they have Bitfinance and Bitfinance currently does not hold any safe moon cryptocurrency right now but uh you know you should now have a wallet pancake swap is one of them i will get into more all the exchanges that currently hold safe moon but yeah safe moon's a hot hot subject right now and if you scroll further down they have a total of 1.3 million people holding the coins that's a lot of people holding Safe Moon, uh, coin, uh, and you know, I think Safe Moon is extremely speculative, but there is a lot of people following it. A lot of people holding the coins. So let's look at Safe Moon. So Safe Moon right now is up twenty one point eight seven percent. Uh, the star, uh, the coin went from, you know, you know, sub zero zero. One zero 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 three or uh, one cent or so whatever, all the way up to you know whatever here. I don't know. Point of a penny, and it crashed really hard, and then it's bouncing back up again. Probably extremely volatile. I mean, I if this if Safe Moon, uh, I don't know what Safe Moon's gonna do, but I'm hoping for Safe Moon to. Go back down to around this level before I'm a buyer, uh, before I'm interested in buying and hope that the market pumps it again. Who knows, whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a gamble. That's why I really think. Uh, but there's a lot of people interested in Safe Moon right now. And I'm just using that as a, you know, trying to get views to my channel. But I do have some very informative information in this company right now. But the market cap right now is $4 billion. That's a pretty high market cap. Because, but there's a lot of people probably funneling a huge amount of money into SafeMoon. Uh, so, oh yeah, okay. Uh, so let's look at SafeMoon, right? SafeMoon, wait, no, what? What's this? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, right now, there's only six crypto exchanges that ha offer SafeMoon, Gate.io, PancakeSwap, MXC, BitMart, WhiteBit, and PancakeSwap. Those are the five, six that are holding it. I'm hoping that like Coinbase or Bitfinance, you know, have it because I trust those companies because uh, because they are the top uh, the top uh, crypto exchange, but uh, I think Gate.io is the most safest right now because if we look, uh, so like so this is the exchange list, right? So Bitfinance is the number one, right? And then Coinbase Pro is number three, and uh, Hubo Go Goblo is uh number two. So there's a ton of exchanges. And Gate.io is right now currently 8th place. And out of all the currency exchange, I probably trust this the most because it's the top one that currently holds SafeMoon. And it has a total exchange score of about 7.8. So if you click on it, right, uh, you can you can head to this Gate.io. So, and then, you know traded i don't know i'm in canada but i don't know if i'm allowed to buy it or if i'm allowed to use this um app but uh you know this is the safest one so far the android oh what the hell 
Cancel! Don't want to download anything weird to my computer. But, uh, yeah. This is, uh, safe. This is the best place to trade Safe Moon. I don't know if I'm a uh, sign up. Let's see if citizens and residents of the USA, Canada, and Japan are only allowed to trade whitelisted cryptocurrency that are strictly selected based on local lawyer options and regulations in the location, respectively. So, I don't know if I'm even allowed to buy Safe Moon. For more details, check the agreements on the submitted ticket. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm even allowed to trade Safe Moon. But, uh, you know, they do have Safe Moon on here. Let's see if we can find it. Safe Moon. Oh, it, it is. This is complicated. Yeah, I don't know. Sign, log in or sign up, log in or sign up. New resident can get 1,000 USDT in crypto rewards. It is an exchange. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, this is probably the safest one, but there's other places like Pancake Swap that is like way in the bottom. Let's go find it. Find Pan Pancake. Well, Pancake's not even on this list. I would not even trust that then if it's not even on this list. Uh, there's a. Uh, Bitmart, Bitmart's on this list, I believe. Bitmart, Bitmart, 142, exchange rating of 3.7. Probably, I probably don't trust that. Just saying, like, so if it went on Coinbase or Bitfinance, I definitely think about buying it, but uh, it's not. So, just letting you guys know. But, uh, you know, hopefully that's useful for you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know if Voyager has it, but uh, Voyager is not in Canada, it's in the US. Kind of strange. Uh, right now, Bitcoin is a little bit volatile, moving up and down. I don't know if it will crash at the end of the day. At the end of the day, big money ultimately determines where Bitcoin prices go because an average person cannot buy one Bitcoin. They can buy a fraction of one Bitcoin, but if Bitcoin was to crash back down to a few thousand dollars, yeah, the average person can absolutely buy some Bitcoin. But will it? No, I don't. I don't think so. Maybe anything's possible, but something bad must happen to Bitcoin. Like Elon Musk be like, "I'm selling my Bitcoin. No more Bitcoin. You know, too speculative." And then, then maybe it could crash back down to five thousand dollars. I don't know. At the end of the day, I'm just saying that you know. Anything's possible, but you know Elon Musk would have to sell out of his Bitcoin position, and so will a bunch of billionaires, because that's really what's holding up the Bitcoin market is billionaires. At the end of the day, I also believe that uh, there are some there are a few billionaires in Dogecoin too. That's my opinion. I don't think retail investors pumped it to a 50, 50 uh, 34 billion dollar market cap. Ethereum, definitely there's billionaires in this one. Definitely billionaires in this one. $261 billion uh, market cap. Um, little volatile right now, but still looking bullish. But if Bitcoin continues to decline, I'm thinking Ethereum will follow. Anyways, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.